Welcome back to the Legal Broadcast Network. I'm Scott Drake, and we continue our discussion on long-term care in retirement. My guest is structured settlement expert John Dara. John, welcome back. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, products available. Long-term care insurance isn't the only thing that can uh, pay for long-term care. Sure. There's, there's, there's of course, the traditional long-term care uh, insurance policy. There are also uh, uh, dual purpose products. Uh, there are life insurance policies that have uh, long-term care riders. There's also annuities out there that have confinement riders in which they will uh, you know, double the benefit. Was, was one of them in particular that will double the benefits or will have some type of uh, advanced benefits on the annuity uh, should uh, you, you are, you, if you're unable to do certain activities of daily living. Well, John, this has been a great discussion. Do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I, I can't say enough um, based on my own personal experience about long-term care. Um, I saw the benefits of planning early, um, having the foresight to have the discussion, to not be afraid to address these issues with my parents and with my siblings. And I only can only wish that other people learn from my example and, and the examples of others that they may know personally uh, and plan for the future. Um, I have, uh, in the business I'm in, I, I get calls from people who are exploring options and they're calling me to explore the options when their options are more limited. They may not have children that can help them uh, with um, the premiums. Um, they may not have done any planning um, and so their options are gonna be more limited. It really is a, a matter of, number one, planning ahead, thinking about it in the same way that you would think about retirement, to plan for the future, because long-term care, if you start early, the premiums are a fraction of what they, will be, uh, they would be if you started if you were 70 or 60. Even if you wait, it's not too late. But again, your options are more limited. But if you think about this, if you're a, uh, a parent, <clears throat> and if you're, if you're an individual, uh, think about this. Um, having the resources to pay for long-term care assures that you have choices, assures that the last uh, years of your life, if you become so afflicted, um, are going to be lived in the utmost dignity, um, you know, provided that you have the resources. Um, if you're a child um, or, a, or a spouse, um, and you've got a family history of Alzheimer's or dementia, um, or to protect against um, the contingency of having a serious traumatic brain injury or other type of long-term chronic illness brought on by a, you know, a, an accident. Um, it's so important to realize that there are tremendous stresses upon caregivers. So if you're dealing with the financial stresses because you don't have the resources to pay or less of, you don't have adequate resources to pay and you're also providing care, it can destroy marriages, it can destroy relationships, it can destroy relationships between parents and the children. It is so important to have that discussion with your loved ones and to address this particular issue. My guest has been structured settlement expert John Darer. I'm Scott Drake and you're watching the Legal Broadcast Network.